Hello everybody, and welcome we, to my humble opinion, one of the best HTTP. commentators that I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> welcome to uh, Crucifer and his Chorfs versus Zin and his Kemri. Round of 16. In the booth with me is Purple Chest and Fatin. Hello. Hello, hello. What an absolute thriller this is going to be. Crucifer with yet another one of his incredibly effective uh, Chorf teams. Uh, quite possibly pound for pound, the, you know, the best chorf coach around. Um, against, uh, yeah, a, a very, um, uh, should we say, creatively coached Kemri team last time out. I think they've got their work cut out for them, Jim. Yeah. <laughs> you've seen that. You've seen. You've seen Zin play, have you? <laughs> um, no, that's, that's needlessly mean. Um, I can't remember how he played. But I mean, it's quite a good matchup against Chorf, isn't it? Having the strength five guys like that can cause some problems. Of course, he does have a strength four claw, so he can he can bang them out pretty easily. So I reckon this should be pretty easy. He's got the ball ball on the bolt, bitch. Uh, technical term. He's got a really nice carry, actually, hasn't he, Chris? But he's holding on the rookie for the wizard. And he's got a bribe and two babes as well, in So he's got lots of inducements. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he he, he comes in under weight here, really, um, and he's going to have to make that count somehow. The, I mean, his team is it's okay for a Kemri team. It's it's survived. There are at least you know four team guardians, but it, it's it just looks underpowered against a team of Chorfs developed this strongly uh, and this broad all the way across the team. Yeah. It's perhaps lacking the real killers you can sometimes see on a Chorf team, but there's just quality right across the team. Yeah, that's a good point. Um, Cruz did have a miss next game, Chorf, and I was wondering how that was going to handicap him, but he's actually paid for a mercenary rookie longbeard, uh, not longbeard, like Chorf blocker, to try and, uh, you know, so he's still got six blockers. That's interesting, isn't it? I'm not sure that was worth it, but he's gone for it. Um, it, it doesn't surprise me. I've seen him pull that sort of thing before, and it's, I mean, there's a lot... What surprises me is that he didn't feel he could have enough to, to throw, you know, guard in on top of it. Because without that, it is just a sacrifice piece. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, it, already we see it doing that job. It's soaked up the hit. It's soaked up the pressure. It, it looks like it's even going to soak up a foul. Yeah. That's kind of money well spent. Because both teams have a lot of thick skull. And yeah. um, so I wonder if... You know, that's not an ideal piece to foul on the on the Chorf team. And neither is sort of, um, neither are the babes very good, the double babes when most of your team has thick skull either. So it means that you're going to get fewer knockouts, I guess. So like a lot of the removals for the Kemri team are always um, Kazu's plus regen, question mark, or stuns, so, or love the armor break. So um, you think you would have gone two babes? Is there nothing better that he could have done here? Like he could have got another, another, um, another bribe maybe. Well, He's got e two dirty players. Yeah, you can't go on ego, can you? Because the ego is terrible. Yeah, ego, ego is terrible. terrible. Um, I, I think a second bribe, particularly as he clearly plans to foul heavy any time he gets a piece isolated, would have been the way to go. I, I never really feel babes offer value for money, except ironically on maybe pro elves. Um, and rats, where you are going to face a lot of KOs because of the low armor. Instant send off. And Prime fails, and there you go, that cost him 100, so instantly that has paid off for Cruz. His 100 inducement completely beats the 100 inducement of Zin. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I mean, that was a terrible foul, wasn't it? Like, it was just hoping to remove him. Like, oh god, is the other dirty player dead? That's the other oh, he's Yeah, like, it was it was yeah. a crap foul because it wasn't like he was already stunned, so like you weren't yep. you were only doing it to greed it for like a cas or something, weren't you? No. Yep, like it, I mean, the bribe gone, a piece that just didn't matter, it, it, it's never gonna matter, surely. No, um, the, I mean, it was thrown under the you know, thrown under the bus, the sacrifice piece. Mm. And wow, any, that paid off big time. Are there any uh, half decent stars that Kemri could have taken either? Because I'm, basically, what I'm saying is, I don't like the babes that much because most of his skeletons have thick skull, unlikely to be or less likely yeah. to be KO'd. And I don't like the bribes that much, even though he does have two dirty players because he's got a big bench and all the dwarfs have thick skull. 
and it yeah. just took the foul anyway. And arm and eye yeah. stuff, but it's not that easy to get good fouls off. So no, like, I never really got, mind like, being fouled as dwarves. I th usually think it, there's a good chance it's going to pay off in my favour. What's yeah. the big mummy? Setek could he have got the big mummy, maybe? Yeah. Or, oh yeah, yeah. He could have, maybe he could have got Setek and a wizard, or maybe yeah, he could have just gone. He could have just got yeah. uh, the other one. What's he called? Yes. <laughs> I can only think of Mumra. I'm thinking Mumra. <laughs> Ramta. <laughs> Ramta, yeah, Ramta. But Ramta would have meant no whiz for sure. He's very expensive. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but he could have maybe gone Ramta rather than rather than the wizard and the other shit. Yeah. Ramta is like a like a uh, like a death roll of it that hangs around for in the entire match. So. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> death rollers can change the way bash map shots work, can't they? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> it's amazing that we both thought of Mumra. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Mumra. I was searching for the name, and the only thing that was approaching was Mumra. <laughs> <laughs> um, th that's a difficult question to answer. I usually know what Kemri can take, but I don't know the Blood Bowl 2 client well enough to be certain of what they can take in Blood Bowl 2. They can um, have the stab guy. Who's obviously not good in this matchup, or is not good in any any matchup? <laughs> any matchup, yeah. <laughs> um, and then I think it's Setek or, or Mummy. Yeah. Setek or Mumra, one of those two. <laughs> <laughs> because they don't have, and I mean Ramtut's up at sort of three sixty. That is, you know, that's all the chips. Mm. And you might just get. Of course, out, but... all of the ones that are in Blood Bowl two got cancelled for them in. 2016 and onwards, uh, they got Bryce the Slice Campbell, the weird scroll half height, the uh, the <laughs> skeleton dwarf thrower, um, just very weird, and Ivan the animal death shroud. Um, but of course, everything's up in the air again with most of the stars now dead in season two, <laughs> and Kemri pretty near dead as well. Are they? What's happened to Kemri? Well, they're in the teams of legend. Oh, okay. So they're just not being... Yeah, they're just not getting team. any joy, any love. Not getting the inducements or anything. I mean, hopefully they will. Hopefully they'll get a spike at some point that brings all of that good stuff to them. Updates them a bit for the new rules. I mean, literally just inducement toys. Everyone else seems to be getting them. Yeah. Hello, Ungern. Yeah, I, I, I realised I've done it wrong now. Yeah. I've changed the I've changed the title, thank you. <laughs> thank God there's no drag involved. No offence to drag, but uh his team was, his match was so so long. It was so long, wasn't it, his match against the It Amazon. really was. So I'm pretty happy that <laughs> This looks like it's gonna be over in about twenty five minutes. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Yeah. This is just brilliant. It really does. Chris is so good. His team is so good. And the problem is, with the first Tomb Guardian gone, yeah, that just it means the others are already going to be under pressure every turn, mm -hmm. and you're just going to lose more. I'd have thought. Yeah. Yeah. Particularly I with mean... a strength four claw mighty, uh, and plenty of assists for it. Yeah. But he's he's stranded here. He can he can hit him. He can hit him with this. Uh... Claw pump, can't he? he? Could have put all three assists on him and claw pumped him. Not claw pumped him, you know, pumped him. <laughs> yeah. And if he hadn't fouled that guy, he could have also fouled him afterwards, but he did foul that. He did foul that rookie. Foul that complete nonsense loner. <laughs> yeah. The thing is, with half the number of players, he could just have left him there, because he's never going to be a, a key part of any strategy. So let him stand up and get hit every turn for four or five turns. Yeah. Yeah, it, it did just, like reek of I've got a bribe, I'm going to use it, didn't it? Basically. Oh, it really did, yeah. But you know, maybe it would have worked, right? Maybe it would have worked. You know, maybe he casts him on another day, he just casts him, and then he, he keeps fouling because he can, and he, you know, he gets a lot of players out. But the fact that Cruz has got the four reserve hobbies. Yes. yes. And then the, it's, like, it's just not the piece I'd want to start with, Jimmy. Yeah. Because it's just so irrelevant to everything that's going to happen in the game. Yeah. I mean, I know. I mean, you're just trying to get up numbers there. It's like saying, you know, you'd foul the you know, a blank rookie hobgob on the Chaos Dwarf team. Yeah. I mean, you'd like to take it out, but are you going to foul that? No, no, not for me. But no. I mean, I, yeah, I understand it. Trying to get the numbers up, I just think it was a poor decision. Yeah. Yes, that's what I think. 
Right, so how do they solve this now? I mean... I, can they really use the Wiz, or should they now be thinking they use the Wiz to drive home for 1-1? One, one? Yeah. And hope somehow that helps. Yeah, yeah. Try, try to win in overtime now, I think. I think this, this drive... It's probably done, isn't he? He's down three players. Yeah. He hasn't removed anything. No. So play the long game now. You've got region on all your guys. You've got a Palmer. You know, just... Just try and hit what you can. It's, it's notable that Ultimate Thrower hasn't committed to the fight. Because I don't think there's much of a fight left to commit to. No. no. He's good though, isn't he? The Ultimate Thrower. <laughs> yeah, he's he really good, is. Yeah. He's, yeah, he's proper nice. Are we? Do we like Fend there? I'm not sure what the hell else you take. Break. No, you can't take rip tackle. Tackle. Kick off return. Sure feet. Can't take sure feet, can you? No, no. I you think can't. kick off return oh, probably. You can't. Yeah. Kick off return, yeah. Leader. Leader's always useful. And you are going to protect him, which is the best place to have leader. Mm. Tackle would be hellish good on him, though, as well. Yeah. He's got a leader, though. He's got another leader. Oh, he's got a leader. Yeah, yeah he has. Yeah, the other one's leader. Wrestle. Leader wrestle. Yeah. Oh, no, that's a. Yeah, no, that is the other throw run. <laughs> yeah. Interesting. I think, I think I would like kick off return on, on a slow team like him. Yeah, yeah, I quite yeah. Like kick off It's not just about getting to the ball, obviously the um you know, the super throw rock can get there. Mostly. But um It's about having it's there and then able to get it somewhere safe afterwards as well. Yeah. Yeah, and and short drives as well, like if Kemri can we force you to score in five and then they have like four or three turns left, then short drives is really important too. Um, get the ball and then get it in the cage that's somewhere, somewhere near the half like, halfway line. Room. And this is so depressing. Already we're at the point here where Crucifer isn't worried about time, isn't worried about position on the field. He's solely worried about what does he get to hit next turn. You know, he's planning attack strategies here, not planning ball movement. Yeah. So he's also got... think, you know, how can we change this? How can we stop it being like this? Bruce is just going to throw his dirty player into fouls on yeah. whatever Tomb Guardian he can, I think. I would, probably, or we wouldn't foul many other targets, I guess. Well, well, super, foul super throw Ra might get a kick in the face if that he goes down. Oh, yeah, sure. But I don't think he will get many chances to foul him. But um, he's, got, he's got bench. Having four Hobgoblins on the bench, is that... Does he normally go this big with his teams? Like that's that's a that's a big bench. It is a big bench, isn't it? Yeah. It is. I guess he has just he's just hired a mercenary chorf, but one of his chorfs has missed this game. So yeah, four four hobgoblin benches more than I would. And he must have bought one of them because he had before two AG four hobgobs and one died in the last game. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So he must have bought a hobgob. Yeah. To have then rented on top, either he's cash rich, or he may not be planning to replace that uh, chorf. Is it a missing that yeah, that guy's yeah. rented to replace? Yeah, right, okay. Game, yeah. So he doesn't need to replace it. I guess the thing is that that Kemri are not a team that make very good use of their inducements, so you don't really care that much about giving them no. an extra 50. No, I mean, as we just 40. discussed, they've got just nothing other than the Wiz. Yeah. If you're already giving away a Wiz, there's not much on top they can hire that you're worried about. Whereas if this was against Elves or Skaven or something like that, I think you'd be more careful about avoiding bloat and well, obviously you'd be less worried about taking so much attrition. Yeah. I mean, even uh, Ramtut's good, but if you've got a team that can take out the Kemri team, then adding Ramtut to him probably isn't going to change that. Mm. And yeah. it, it, it can because he's you know he's got such good hitting, but it probably isn't. Yeah, if it was like Orcs, then they've only got Mighty Blow, then he's a great pickup, isn't he? But against yeah. Chalks, where they've got the Strength yeah. 4 Claw, it's not nice. Yeah, but it's particularly... I mean, the Strength 3 Claw, you can see that struggling to maybe get enough hits on him, but the Strength 4, that's it's not that tough. Yeah. Hello, Pepper Biscuit. Biscuit. Control him for three or four turns whilst you get the numbers down elsewhere, and then you've got the numbers to get the hits on him. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Fuck's sake, help. Fucking hell. Honestly. Yeah, this is just horrible, isn't it? He's got so much guard on his team. 
he just gets to batter these these uh, Tim Guardians. Now he's got the now he's got the ball rolling. I, I do apologise to Chad. I didn't realise I was talking over when Pepper Biscuit had arrived. Um, <laughs> off, off you go, Jimmy. <laughs> I said hello. Hello. <laughs> Hi, PB. And hello, Arknalax. And hello, everyone else. I haven't said hello to. Hello. We were just um, talking about what you'd go next on a on a chorf because in the last match. There was a chorf with guard, mighty blow, stand firm, and then Graham. I don't know what you would think of as a as a as the best choice um, PC, but Christopher's gone for a dauntless um, on his on his mighty blow. Yeah, I re on, on chaos dwarves, I really often go with a dauntless. Um, mm -hmm. You're not always going to have the bulls in the position you need. You know, against chaos, against Nurgle, against orcs, you're sometimes going to need a strength four hit from a guy that actually is strength three. So if you, yeah, I don't like, hate that at all. Do you, do you ever take grab? Grab? I've, I've had a lot less use out of, to be honest. Um, because I tend not to play a super foul heavy game. I mean, I can if, the, if I feel the game needs it, but it doesn't tend to be how I design teams to run. Uh, and I think grab is best used in conjunction with that, um, which is why I'm excited about Black Orcs, where I do plan to foul with reckless <laughs> abandon. Okay. Uh, and and I'm gonna you know enjoy using grab there, but so far it hasn't been something I've tended to major in, in getting loads of. <laughs> I'd usually rather have a dauntless. Um, sometimes I can squeeze a kick in if it's one that I think I'm gonna line up centrally. Really? Kick long beard. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I mean, not on a chorf. There's always, almost always better things Help to take me, on chorf. In my humble opinion, one of the best it depends, depends. I mean, that I've ever heard in my life. There's so many things. It depends on what else is happening on the team. If the runner's got long vanilla skills, he's probably got kick already. Because he, again, always lines up centrally, so it's not a bad player to have kick on. <laughs> Get it, Cutney. Yeah, that was a 3 plus Dauntless roll, wasn't it? So, yep. Um, on a block stand for Mummy. Um, could, could he blitz up the mummy onto the ball here? Yeah, maybe. Base the ball, GG. GG, yeah, that, that's the that's the thing, right? Game over if you hit the uh, if you hit the thing. But uh, it's harder when there's three guards here. Um, he's got this fella here. I think the main thing that he wants to do here is he definitely wants to blitz this hobgoblin. Not only because he's armor six and he's a dirty yeah. player, but yeah. his his yeah, yeah. draw is lying right next yeah. to him. <laughs> <laughs> That's so just, yeah, the one that we thought was definitely not getting involved and made the <laughs> yeah. foolish mistake of trying to. Mm -hmm. um, he just stands yeah. up the if he stands up the guard, um, Blitzra, he's got two dice on the ball, hasn't he? No, no, no three. He's got an assist here, right? So he's got three, four, one, two, five, three. Oh, six, no, seven. He's, yeah. he's strength, um, this dirty player is strength seven right now. <laughs> yeah. That's that's tricky to deal with. So you've probably got to stand yeah, him up and then one D. And then if you push him away, then you're strength five, six, seven, and he's strength three, four, five, six. So yeah, you're probably gonna to have to stand this guy up in one D. One D Yeah, I don't disagree. But I mean it needs doing. That dirty player has to die. It's blocking against no take, block, but one D. We can fine. take this one first, it's fine. And it's one D, but it's with wrestle, isn't it? So yeah. again, it's a two plus. It's that's not shocking. Yeah. And to give you a hit on that dirty player, if he achieves nothing else this half but keeping <laughs> his super throw alive and killing that dirty player, as long as he gets the Tomb Guardians back, oh. that's probably not a bad half work. Ah, oh, I don't just. Oh dear. Oh, Is this ends badly. Yeah, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> when well, you need when well, you need to break armor and ideally remove a chorf and you roll a one in nine. <laughs> yeah, we've all been there. I mean, it could have been a push as well, though, right? It's like it's horrible, isn't it? Hitting stun firm, guys. Look there, the one D was a power. If you only had done that first, <laughs> that was the dream, wasn't it? That would have given him the two D here. Yeah. How to do that one D? Also, just getting a stand for mummy on the ball, like, although I was kind of joking about ball based, you know, it's, yeah. it's not, uh, if he stands up there, he's using a bolt bitch. 
remember. So it, it is a naked three plus. It's got no skills yeah. at all. Yeah, yeah, it would have. It would have been. It would have been some. It would have been a bit tricky for him. Yeah. Instead of just instantly getting two D. Yeah. I mean, there is a point at which you just need to stop standing pieces up to get hit constantly with mighty blow. Yeah. I shouldn't be telling people this because I really enjoy it when they do. <laughs> the, the really, there's a key moment where you just think, this isn't helping. I should stop this. And either you don't stand them up or you try and blitz certain key pieces. What's the over under? They, on they on move many... and you can get others up, but this just isn't. How many assists is he going to get in on the, the foul here? <laughs> <laughs> I think four. Four assists. Well, it, I mean, I feel a bit exasperated, Jim. This this didn't need to happen. This wasn't a thing. You know, right? The grinding machine of chorfs was approaching the end zone, but you could still have kept that piece back. Yep. There's a Kaz, big Kaz as well. Guard gone. Yeah. Huge. Could have gone for no. the thrower out there and added more assists to the foul. On the it's upside, though, there's it's only one team nice. guardian out, and it's only KO'd. No, and there's guessed. definitely going to be two rolls on it. Yeah, I might hit in the thrower out there to get more assists, but he's only going to get two assists. When your bet was four, Jim. Oh, wait, is he? <laughs> oh, shit, he's Hello. not even. Where is he? Hello? He's not even fouling him, he's fouling... He's fouling he's the two not guardian. fouling the oh. thrower! Oh, thrower's gone. Okay. Not thrower, two guardian. I don't know why I said called thrower. Didn't foul the thrower, found the team guardian. I guess the, the thrower could be next turn. <laughs> yeah. I guess you now you've got to stay down, haven't you? What's he going to do with this thrower? Nothing. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, well, I might think of running it away in the other direction, but even then, I think it could probably be chased down. And it just fail the dodges anyway, wouldn't it? It's only edge three. Yeah, yeah, it's a four three to get out. Just, just wait to get fouled next turn. He can blitz, can't he? This guy he can go for the old five plus four plus one D. That's right. This this Crucifer's dirty player doesn't have wrestle dodge coffee. You're absolutely right. <laughs> <laughs> Into a removal, because of course it is. Big easy 4 plus. Well, he's going to have to roll a 4 plus to recover from his KO. Mm. Never got to try his 4 plus, didn't manage to make the 5 plus work. <laughs> It's worth pointing out to some like newer players that are watching the stream might not realise that most of the skeletons on the Kemi team have thick skull, but the throw rods don't, so mm. they they can they're just a little bit more. And I don't think the blitz rods do either, do they? They don't know. They don't either. No. But they're armor eight, but so the the throw rods are armor seven and without thick skull, which means that they're always a key. Shit, target. is that the word you're looking for? They're always shit. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yes. Throw rods um, definitely are. Of course, anointed throwers and anointed blitzers have thick skull in uh, Blood Bowl 3, as it were. Is that right? I didn't yes. know that. So they've kind of buffed them in that respect. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's not a 4 plus anyway for the KOs, it's 2 plus because you've got 2 babes, so the KOs basically don't matter at all. Yeah. Yep, glorious, glorious camera. <laughs> Chris DP in movies. <laughs> yeah. Why is he DPing the mummy? Why not the throw rock? Oh, no, he scores. Uh, TG still have decay, but it's not as bad as it used to be. So. Well, I mean, like, it kind of is, but it's not as bad because of Nichols being not bad and redraft. So they're worse because they just don't get any skills. <laughs> the problem now that Tim Guardians have is they don't get any skills. Which is a pretty big problem, isn't it? What do you mean? Because they they just never be able to develop that. 
fun. Yeah, yeah like yeah. They'll, they'll have eight games or something, and then they they won't level, and then so you won't redraft them. Or they, you know, like they'll have four SPPs, but no no levels, so you won't redraft them, and it's just going to be horrible. Surely, if they'll have four SPP, you'll throw a random at them and see if they get something worth redrafting them with. Yes, I guess you. I guess so. Yes. So, I the, mean, the, there is. We've said this a thousand times, Jim. I share some of your pessimism with things like this, but until we know what the system is going to be and how we're going to be playing Blood Bowl within this rule set, some of it's very hard to know, like which teams are going to be strong. If you can play 50 games and never redraft, then actually I still think Nurgle Chaos are going to be fine. Yes. And Dwarves, not so good. Yeah. Because there's still a, a point at which if they haven't rolled stats, they're going to peak as a team. But then, they'll have Griff. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's true. That is a possibly <laughs> deep route. <laughs> yeah, Perhaps the answer might just be going with two runners, seven, what, two runners, nine guard long beards, and hire a deep root Griff. Yeah. Yeah, that's like, it seems pretty strong. Yeah, I don't really like getting deep root, to be honest, because he's, he's even so. I mean, the whole stars beard. thing. Yeah, you just use him exactly like. You use a tree on a wood elf to soak up all the damage if it's a team that's stronger than you. If let's not, just, just um, pound stuff slowly at the end of each turn. Let's appreciate for a minute that um, Christopher offset his um, LOS just slightly with one gap in between so that the Kemri yeah. can go for a movement 6 1 turn. <laughs> yeah. It's, yeah. <laughs> and yeah, only with one of them. Um, no, which is still well, enough. That's all we need to do, isn't it? Yeah. I know it's still enough to deter it. And it's the ultimate min-max move because it makes the others just a tiny bit higher to keep getting repeated blocks on in case of pushes. Yeah. But, I mean, by say a tiny bit, I'm talking like 0.01 of a percent less hits on average by setting up that way. Yeah. He's he's a professional in his approach Ooh, and his behaviours. I hate that. What if he rolls a push? He's still got the blitz. I think he just wanted to poke. Yeah, but you've got you've got to seal it off, right? So that you so that you push it along. Like you have it was very it. easy to. Yeah. With this other throw run, so yeah. it's questionable as to why not. So now you see why the majesty of Christopher's bench is, of course, that he can just put three shit hobgobs on the line. <laughs> yeah. Uh, his two bulls not even on the pitch. His uh, his best. Hobgob not even on the pitch, so even rocks can't kill them. Yeah, that's pretty nice, isn't it? Although, um, yeah, even I his guess. best jaw <laughs> is not on the pitch, and that I is guess still he's not player. remotely frightened of a riot. No. <laughs> no. no. And even if there is, he'll just elf wall in front of anything that comes forward, so it's fine. Yeah, but I mean, so yeah, he has an entire bench just to take the turn eight hits. Brilliant. Really? Could he have? He should have set up for a riot there, shouldn't he? The the Zin. Like yeah, he, he could have had the he could have had the Ash Fro on the on the line somewhere. Yeah. He could have had set up to be able to take some blocks on the hobs anyway. And then yeah. just had the Ash Fro right on the line, the second throw are, um deep. Back somewhere. to feed the ball to it. Yep. And hope for and the riot. No, I, I agree, and I set up for it all the time. Yeah. And then when it comes and I'm vaguely in a possibility to take advantage of it, people are mm. amazed. <laughs> and like, well, no, because eleven times it didn't work, but just occasionally it will. Um, you sure, you sure yeah. it's that for riot or quick snap, shouldn't you? So, like, yeah. those two things combined are a reasonably high chance. So, you know. Um, Although, whenever I mean, the last sort of twenty-five gazillion times that someone has set up in a defence where quick snap would have exposed them to an enormous amount of hits, I've set up to take advantage of it, and every single time they roll a blitz. <laughs> Yeah. Every time. Just guaranteed. Absolutely. You deserve it. At, at which point you're horrifically out of position, of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I think Crucifer is in a pretty confident mood, doing all the safe things, like keeping his best players off for a rock and stuff like that. So. Yeah, he's not even bothering to defend with his best hobgoblin, his ball carrier. He's leaving that on the bench. Yeah. Which is... I mean, it's it's, it's confident, verging on the overconfident. Glorious. The babes, of course, no, it turns I out, were brilliant in bringing back the two team guardians. So, at least the only and thing I we've lost defend. is uh, I will the foully goblin. 
No, skeleton. And of course, okay. that decent guard one. Guard blitz. Was it a blitz run that went? It was a blitz run. It yeah. was, yeah. So really, it's the blitz roll we're going to miss here. Though our bench now consists of nothing on oh, the Kemri side. Nothing at all. But he's still got a, he's still got eleven on the field. Yeah, he's still got eleven on the field. So that's nice, yep. isn't it? One thing at a time, Jim. You just win this drive. Simple as that. Yep. And, you've uh, got your two guardians. Lucas. You've got your hitty pieces. You just win this drive. Yep. Lucky Lucas, thank you very much for staying fantastic for nine glorious months. Two who will be the pregnancies? Oh yeah. <laughs> right. Did he foul with it? No, the 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 blitz rod got got cast and the uh, dirty player got sent off. I mean the loner chaos dwarf blocker, which admittedly Crucifer did feed to him, and uh, Zin then got it completely surrounded. So it was a high value foul, but I mean a high value foul against a really low value piece. Which we yeah. at the time, well, I certainly at the time didn't like. Mm. Hated and it. Cost him his bribe and his dirty play. Hated it. But and if it worked, he could have got the steamroll going. So yeah, you know, not that it's yeah. bad. I, yeah, well, it was though. Yeah. It's not just, that it's it, it's certainly forgivable. It it was a strategy I could see why he thought it might work. Yeah. Look, who can but say I, if it's right or wrong? It's well, just not I just didn't. What what are um? How'd you not pile on there? Up? Pile on your dickhead! Yeah, he got. <laughs> what what would you say Chaw's worst worst matchups are? Because I was I was thinking this isn't too bad a matchup for Kemri normally, is it? Or I don't, I don't really know. At low TV, it's pretty good for Kemri, but but when they have like the claws get, yeah. and and mobile bulls, it gets a lot worse. Yeah. So what did Chaw's not want to see at high TV then? Chaos and Nurgle. Chaos and Nurgle. Which they can still just roll, obviously, because they've got claw pump of their own. Yeah. Um, but obviously, the 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 they've got more strength and everything, haven't they? Yeah, chaos and Nurgle. Plus, if you remove two chaos dwarf blockers or one bull, they're probably in trouble. And if you remove a bull and one to two chaos dwarf blockers, they've lost. I don't, that's almost impossible for them. Mm. What, so, what about strong as they are, thinking? they are quite fragile. If you can crack the shell and just remove a couple of the decent pieces, they're in huge trouble. What's the Dwarfs versus Kemri matchup like? Is that uh, pretty much the same. It, it's very tr tricky at low TV because they are so strong. Um, it depends. If they like doing over-blocking, you can eventually just suck the re-rolls and get them failing turn after turn. Mm. Um, but if they're disciplined and just use the strength to dominate the pitch and are limited in their hitting, it's very tough for dwarves. Um, as soon as you get the guard wall active, they probably haven't got enough to stop you. So then you get dominant up to about 16, 1700, at which point they'll start to have enough to really cause you the problems added to the strength again. Yeah, but then you probably get more guard quicker things. than they do, don't you? Yeah. As dwarves. Yeah. I mean, dwarves have to win the arm, arm race, arms race, because they just don't have the strength, they don't have the mobility. Mm. But they start losing it over 1800 to lots and lots of teams. You know, Orcs, Nurgle, Chaos, Gemri are all going to start skilling up with enough guard, block, and mighty blow that they've got everything dwarves have got, but they've got more strength or they've got more mobility. Poor little dwarfs. No, there's, no, there's, no, there's no denying that from sort of, well, I mean, arguably out of the box, but I'd say from about 15, no, from about 1,200 up to about 16, 1,700, they are one of the stronger teams. Probably only beaten by Undead across that range. And Wood Elves, of course. Yeah, <laughs> yeah they're, they are really strong, aren't they? Like, once they yeah. get the guard up, they are... Uh... Yeah. They're brutal. And they're, they're Run out so the box, tedious. it's still Wood Elves, Norse, and Amazons. Yeah. At, at a thousand, yeah. I would say. But that's what's great about it, is you know, the races develop at different speeds across different areas of the TV spectrum, which is why until we know what we're going to be building and in what environment in any Blood Bowl 3 or any version that's using the new rule set, um, it's impossible to know what races are going to do well. Hmm. I quite enjoyed watching Andy Davo lay a trail of waste um, in the dwarf division of the Super League uh, this season, in the first season. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah. He's uh he's doing really well with the with the um Dark Elves, isn't he? Yeah, he's uh he is. He hasn't played PC yet though, has he? Nah. No, oh, actually, he lost yeah. he lost he lost to Jimmy, didn't he? he did, yeah, he did. <laughs> and then he's beat Calcium. Um that was a cracking game. He played really well. He, he beat Dio this week. Yeah. Oh did he? Oh yeah. I didn't see that one. I must I'll have a look at that. That must be a cracking game. Yeah. Yeah, he stopped Dio's score, I believe, in the first half and then <laughs> Did he stop Dio? I think yeah. I think he stopped. Yeah. I think Dio received, and then he he stopped the score. I had a very low chance of scoring back, and then I think he scored quickly and made it interesting in the second half. It was a, it was a really good match. I, I watched it. Uh, this afternoon. Mm. Yeah, I watched. I watched it. Um, most of it, but half-heartedly. I <laughs> uh, like no because it, it was it was on like it was on like either just before I did a stream or no no I wasn't streaming I don't know it, something happened so I, I missed it but I started watching it and then and then stopped <laughs> for a reason not out of right, disgust this, this... or anything <laughs> before anyone tries to uh, say anything is he gonna hit this he's not gonna hit this fucking claw guy or what why don't you bring in the assist and hit the claw. I'm confused. I, I don't think he wants to be over on that side of the... Oh, he is hitting him. Okay, he's doing it that way with a one died pal. Oh, he's hitting him. Oh, he's hitting him by Why didn't you hit the claw? If you're going to hit... If you, like, that's a 1D as well, isn't it? Like, either mm -hmm. one's a 1D. So why not just hit the claw? Yeah. And then you can push him I away as well. I guess fail state's better. But, yeah, I don't... Hmm, fail state's like the it. same, isn't it? Yeah, because it's armor seven doing the hitting anyway. Yeah. You know, true, true. So it's just literally just better, higher value player. Like getting a stun up, stun on the strength four claw guy would have been pretty cool there, because maybe you could have thought about. Yeah, it would, but if you, I, mean, if, I can't help myself looking and seeing two stuns on the same side of this pitch and wondering, as the Camry, is there any way I can get a move and steal some space down that side? And yeah, the answer, sure. the answer is Kemri is yes in four turns time. <laughs> 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 or the opposite. Can I leave those two stuns behind? Because next turn they're only, you know, getting up and moving a single space and head down the other side. Yeah. yeah. Certainly two stunned dwarfs are quite a lot of movement to be sacrificed. So. Well, it's about so, as yeah. much as the Kemri have had in their favour this game, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. It's yeah. a, it's a turn where only them. nine of the Chorfs can move. <laughs> <laughs> it, this has been the highlight of their match, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know that is incredibly depressing, but it's also true, so... Okay, so it'll be interesting to see how Cruz sets this up. He, I guess he's keeping both balls fairly flexible. He's not got a foul here, is he? No. They're both break tackle. As long as they're within the central seven, they can get yeah. anywhere they want. Oh. Oh. Oh, he's out of pop. Yeah. That's why I would have liked to have hit him, because even if you just push him away, it means you're not That's taking a Yeah, you're not around. having to take this. Okay, he gets away with it. Look a dog. Look a dog! So now he's got he's done the big commitment to the right as we look at it with Crucifer with the the yep. bull, yeah. the dirty player and so on and two stuns on the right as well. Now I think he's he's got to try and to go push up left and attack this bull maybe. You could you could blitz the bull, but if you don't get a knockdown, it's not, there's no hole. I think well, at least at least you can move the bull off you, whereas the the chorf is stand firm, so you can't. They're both stand firm. So it's, it's also a bit of a trap if you head this way because you, you're going to need to deal with two stand firm chores. Yeah, maybe just mash into the middle. I mean, the middle is actually a route through. You're too slow to take advantage, but the Tomb Guardian knocks the rookie Hobgoblin yeah. down and that provides the guard assist for the, the POM one in the middle. There's nothing holding the centre, but how do you take advantage of it? You're not quick enough to get through and form a cage on the other side of those two bodies. I think, I think you take some space here. If, if the Hobgoblin goes down, if there's a power on the Hobgoblin with the, with the Tomb Guardian, then you can 
you can take take some space in the middle, can't you? Yeah, I think I think that's where I'd be going. If you don't advance after powering the hobgoblin uh, and then blitz the chorf, there's a space sort of to stall the ball where the hobgoblin is now. Reform a cage around that square. I was thinking a bit more progress than that, but uh, if the hobgoblin went down. Yeah. But Chad's we're not, we're just going sideways. Chad's been totally ignored. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Cocky, but no one said anything worthwhile in chat. So, <laughs> you know. Well, yeah. most, yes. of is, most of it has okay. helped me anyway, so. Yeah. yeah, I mean, when it's just helped me, I might tune out, frankly. Um, yeah, but bring something to the Dom table. Leb, you're right, that is a throw, Ra. Uh, we'd spotted that, yes. <laughs> Yes, I'll. Yes, I treated it with the contempt it deserved. <laughs> yeah, I, I. Did you expect me to want to talk about that? It's, oh, the one in nine. Oh. So this is not really taking advantage at all of the two stun dwarfs that you were talking about, PC. So. But he can't do. No. Oh, that's good. Yeah. But yeah, I mean that has its own value. Just take control of somewhere. Yeah, and he's going to hit oh. here, and he's going to blitz this bull, isn't he? That's his plan. Yep. Presumably. I mean, you have marginalised the two stand firm chorfs. That's a thing. But sort of deliberately baiting your cage right behind where the two stunned guys are going to stand up does feel a bit of a waste. Yeah, I would have liked to have hit more hobgobble. More hobbles, I would have liked. Oh, he's blitzing the hobbo. The armour six... Yeah, yeah, DP. well, that's, that's nice. I think that's I mean, at least this has led to a lot of nice hits. So let's look at the upsides there. He can still get on top of this drive. The chorfs are starting to look a little bit. Now, at least those stand-up ones are standing up back into instant danger, though paradoxically also assisting things to <laughs> cause danger. But Yeah. Bruce has just got to stand up the guard chorfers, the guard stand firm chorf, and stand up his dirty player, and then he's going to um, bang on that mummy again. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I'd spotted that. If he kept his bri if he oh, kept his bribe, he could have just fouled the DP, couldn't he? he could have literally like I wouldn't have even hit that foul. Arm six, yeah. Yeah, no, it's just... yeah just to remove the damn thing. Yeah. But I don't think you want to foul it without a bribe. He's protecting him. He's turn. trying to protect him. Yeah, exactly. uh, End the fucking turn, turn man! He's got assist to give two die on the mummy with the ball. He doesn't need it to be straight four, though, isn't it? So he yeah, he's, he's got the he's got the two assists in front, hasn't he? he can just yeah. Him. Yeah, but I mean that would then be moving the uh, the strength four dwarf into a terrible position for him. So yeah. you can't do that. Um, no, I, I think I'd rather hit this this mummy with strength four. Yeah, me too. And handily, the loner just pops up right in front of it. The other one, yeah, that's a great place for the assist. Also helping with the other mummy. Bosh. Gets him. This Boom. one's better mummy as well. Yeah. He's fine. Oh, boy, howdy. Oh, baby. I love that little aggressive advance in there to put double threat on that skeleton. <laughs> I love that. I love that he's like, "Yes, I'll I'll go forward and base this hobgoblin with a with a block mummy," and then he just gets three guard, <laughs> guards in and smashes him to bits. <laughs> oh, he dodges out the uh, dodged out the hobo to get. Yeah, I thought that was the best solution was take it as a final block because it's just not that important. And the push. Taking it, right, it, it as a one dice rather than dodging the hobo first. You could just could just one dice for block. Against yeah, I didn't hate that either. I mean, it's block against no block, isn't it? And a push is fine there. That's a two plus, whereas dodging the hobgoblin is a three plus. <laughs> yeah, but if you dodge and it works, you get two die, which is a better chance of knocking it over, which would have been a better outcome. Mm. So that is one of those who's to say if it was right or wrong. But I, I, yeah, I didn't hate it, and I wouldn't have hated doing it other way. And, uh, the advantage the other way is if the one die works, you could even you know dodge out and fail. Yeah. And uh, thanks for the one bit cocky. <laughs> 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 and uh, there is no catcher as Arknalax. 
There, chat one, you two, uh, chat one, you two, order some wontons. Yeah, there's no, yeah. fucking, <laughs> no fucking wontons. <laughs> oh dear. This is rough, isn't it? It's just so rough. Chris is pretty good at blood balls, isn't he? Yeah, he, he is. is. <laughs> and he is particularly used to being in positions like this. Where he is completely controlling and dominating a team and pretty much scoring at will and defending at will. Yeah. Notice he hasn't really bothered taking the ball off them. He's just got them hemmed up totally. Yeah. Dizzy Best coming in with a raid. Good evening, Dizzy Best. Hope it's going alright. Have you been casting some rebel? Oh glorious, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Elk meme is basically the chant leader for the evening. <laughs> <laughs> he is, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> Which is great. You know, he's serving a purpose. Yeah. Finding if a direction only, in his life. Some, like pom pom stuff, he could uh, do a proper cheerleading. <laughs> Bit of green body paint. <laughs> oh, playing some CCL woodies. Nice. <laughs> Dog to the dog, I'm not sure I agree. I mean, I. <laughs> I think Crucifer, even in the short time I've been playing Blood Bowl 2, has notably improved his game. But I've always thought he was extremely strong. Strong. I don't think it is just dice. I think he's got very fa solid fundamentals. His positioning is extremely good. Yeah. And doesn't play a lot of Among Us, Chris. I don't think he's, I don't think he's played any Among Us. <laughs> he can't be the best if he hasn't... He hasn't played a lot of Among Us. Yeah. Exactly. So this is this is what I was worrying about. Like when the opportunity was there to maybe go through the middle with the Camry, I thought, right, we could get at least four or five squares forward here in the yeah. middle. Yeah. Make yeah. The, like, Camry is so fucking slow, and now they've got four turns after this, and they're in the middle of their own field. Oh, yeah, they've really gone bad. backwards. They're screwed. Um, look, you don't have to persuade me. I'm well known for saying prioritize space, take the space, take the space, take the space. Mm -hmm. um, and sometimes you need to take the risk. And as you were talking about in the last game, which I only got there for the very tail end of, but failure sometimes to, to take that risk, to seize the day, is, is the kin to just giving up. It's Even if it means throwing a couple of naked two pluses in, but if it means you secure the position, sometimes that's just got to get done. Mm -hmm. We we need a bit of magic from from Mr. Throra. <laughs> he needs to he needs to like he does. Pull some well, he's, out he, of <laughs> he has a magic stat line, so let's hope that that can deliver. Yeah. You sort of feel these bulls have got it covered though. Any moment they need to. <laughs> CCL Mike Hunt. <laughs> oh dear. I think Mike has a pretty good record, actually, Cocky. Yeah, Chris is pretty, pretty, pretty good. Seventy-six percent in chalices is ridiculous, isn't it? I mean, he's obviously he's always coming in with high TV chalices. So, but, I mean, it's still insanely impressive. Obviously, seventy-six percent. Don't get me wrong. He never comes in with a bad team, does he? Exactly. Chris, yeah. like, if Chris will just make more teams if he if he, if his team is looking bad that he's qualifying with. He will just qualify with a better better chalf team. So yeah, like that's the thing. And he's, it's, it, what, he's what playing to one me of the is, best teams. For the playoffs, like you can't get much better than Chors for the playoffs, just as a uh, general like good matchups in most areas. And then B, he just plays, you know, enough to just always come in with a, with a superb team, or at least an uh, above average team. I think. Yeah. And like the the like really, him just relentlessly qualifying with Chors, which is like pretty much the hardest race to qualify with because the records are always really good. Like that yeah. that's really impressive, isn't it, to be fair. Yeah. As much as as yeah. much as his playoff record is. And let's just appreciate Art is eighty percent. Eighty percent in chalices as yeah. a record. Yeah, that's pretty <laughs> great. That's pretty great. We've got a potato on here, look. We absolutely do. We also have a wizard and I'm wondering if there's any way it can back it up and make it more solid. Well he could he could back up and give a brother room. The fuse is lit and he's about to go boom. <laughs> there you go. I, I'm speechless, Jim. 
<laughs> Gasol mode. He's got a hundred percent win rate, but he's a shitter. <laughs> In my humble opinion. Oh my god, he's cast his bow. He's cast like a dog with a niggle. Oh, the cruise. The apple kind of works. God, I would have loved that if I had won my game. <laughs> Fuck. You would have been playing the winner of these two, would you? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, can he go for a one dice looking for a push to open? That doesn't even open up a route. Oh, it does open Yeah, it does. Route. He pals this guy. It doesn't. If he pals that guy. He doesn't pal him. You can run around, right? You can just swing around yep. now. And he, he's well, got I guy. don't think that's going to change this game. That is a massive shift in cup equity, isn't it? Yeah, huge. Huge for for his opponent in the next round, the uh, Sindane. Yeah, he can, he can put this guy here, can't he? Uh, Skellington. Uh, and then he, he can just... Swing around, and it's not as good as just bezzing through the middle, is it? But no. But yeah, but that is one of the that is like the best. Removing a bull there is big because when the Kemri uh, inevitably start going for their sort of more potatoish <laughs> plays that they're going to have to do, um, there's one less one less high movement guy to worry about, isn't it? So, yeah, it's it's enormous. It does give him a win option here. There's only yeah. now one bull that needs somehow controlling or just marginalising. And if you look, it is over the other side of the pitch. I mean, it might be Remember how I said that with the bull centaur, if it's anywhere within the, the you know, the uh, dashed lines in the central portion of the pitch, then they can reach anywhere. Well, it's just over the other side, so it, it's sort of where you want it to be. Yeah. And now he's got the 2D here to not bust through, but at least he can get another player on there, can't he? Yeah. I do think again. This is caution to the wind. This is all the marbles time. I, that uh, that skeleton that's free around the back. The other throw rod needs to be rushed around this back and into a supporting position. It's not Would just you... where things are this turn. You need to worry about where they're going to be next turn. Would you four plus go to this round? Is that what he's looking at doing here? Yeah, maybe. I think it could be. Worth yeah, it. I think it's it probably is worth it. Forward. I think even if it fails, <laughs> there, it's it probably on the right place to be failing. Yeah. But basing is okay, but I think, I think yeah. the 50-50 is so good to get him forward, isn't it? I don't know, it's tricky. It really would I don't have know. been. Basing probably uses more chorfs anyway. And he's got enough, just about, players to make a breakaway here yeah. on the left-hand side. So, you know, the, it's definitely I was just thinking that, that first chorf that stood up probably wouldn't have just stood up. Yeah, it would have, it would have started have gone through. It would have moved at least one space. Yeah. So it did um, lock, lock that chorf down, that was... So at the very least, yeah. least, it locked that. Interesting that Crucifer, you know, not frightened of going with the uh, the loner there. Yeah. Yeah. Could have been Could have very costly. Strength four, which will presumably drop back into position. Presumably the strength four's blitzing, because otherwise the, uh, the down player could have blitzed, couldn't it? Yeah, I suppose you're right. Um, is he... No, I think the strength four is just moving diagonally down right. Yeah. Oh. Who's blitzing there? The bull? The bull is blitzing the uh, the tomb guardian off and then running away afterwards. Mm. I think there's the bull break Is my guess, but it's a guess. But I think the bull's got to break tackle, hasn't he? He's got to break tackle and like it's on over here. Yeah, but much easier if you don't need to use the break tackle. And if that Tomb Guardian's knocked over, then he can't. He's got, he can't, can't, he's, he's got two Tomb Guardians on the ball. So yeah, there's oh, there's two. Ah, oh, okay. Yes. No, sorry. I, I'd missed one highly behind the ball at my angle. Yeah. No, he's he's completely screwed there. Yeah. He'll have to break tackle out and just hope that those two are controlled by the um, the chorf right in front of him. Yeah, maybe pun. Maybe double GFI to punch this skeleton. He has to do the GFIs. Wow. Yeah, I don't hate getting right in front of it. That is what's going to happen. Bosh. Do you have to run away? Otherwise, that's the one bull that is going to get the job done, maybe, is controllable to some degree, possibly even blitzable. Mm. 
You've only got one square left anyway. And what if you double? He one? could wrestle the ball. He could wrestle the ball. I think next turn. He can wrestle mm. the ball. Yeah. He can. And, and maybe dodge the and foul the ball. Oh, he's failed the dodge. Oh, that's he's huge. Got KO'd, and he's fr that's freed up a that's freed up a mummy, hasn't it? Yeah, Bobby, but in the wrong place. But you probably want to free it early and then move the other one last with two go for it. We're going to see a last last action dodge and foul with the with the dirty skeleton. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, on the maybe, ball, maybe. Yeah, this oh, is quite I nice, isn't it? So. I think this looks good for the Camry right now. Yeah. A lot depends on whether the Tomb Guardians can power the stand firm. There's one stand firm chorf on the on the two Tomb Guardians, so like if he if he rolls a power, then the yeah. other Tomb Guardian is free. If he doesn't roll a power then that's yeah. two of your best pieces stuck on one stupid stand firm dwarf. I wonder if you <laughs> yeah. do hit the bull right, because you could you could put the you could put the man on the bull here, right, which is done. Yeah, good. Now I think you punch this, right? And if it works, uh, you can't blitz him anyway, so it doesn't matter. No, you, you, I think you've still got to blitz the bull and then see if you can tag the strength four, and then you can just potato up this sideline. Yeah. It's just a shame that you can't really hit everything, and, like, not really tagging. Uh, I guess you can tag him. He wants, to, he wants to see what the outcome of this bull blitz is first, which is young. Pals him. him down. Doesn't Next. power him in a way that he can get any assists on the foul, though. Oh, it doesn't, doesn't need to! <laughs> Perfect. Now you just tag yeah, that strength right. four. You can even screen the strength four. You don't need yeah. to tag it anymore. Well, can, how do you screen the strength four? Um, by taking another step towards... Yeah. What did you find him? Yeah. He didn't, yeah, though. I, yeah, he didn't. We can't hit him without... Two, three, yeah, he can't four, hit him. This five, is good six, enough. Six, isn't Face him. It's, I mean, that's probably all right. Yeah, I think this is good. He didn't have the extra space with our GFI, did he? But I think yeah. it was stronger. He can Two, punch three. him, then he can punch him yeah. to free the DP as well. So if, if he gets a power here, it's massive. This could be a huge power. Unless he hasn't stood up. So yeah, this mummy can make it's, it uh, a huge power. Turning into a real match, isn't it? It is, yeah. It's yeah, there's like, I mean, this like, huge win condition now with this that one bull out. But this is, this is, yeah, with the bull out, this is, um, oh dear. Oh man. He's got to re roll that, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I didn't like that hit. I, I like, I like doing. No, I liked your plan of freeing up the dirty player. Mm. I guess he can just punch with a dirty player, can't he? That's fine. Yeah. But if I would have done that first, so that you maybe get three dice with the mummy. I still think he's well served by getting one of those Tomb Guardians around the back of the loner and the other Chaos Dwarf locker there. Gets the power. Yeah, that would be nice, wouldn't it? I just don't want one of them here. coming around to where this ball area is. Just the strength yeah. four out on its own. Gets the guard, so he gets a, gets a hit on the, uh, yeah, the other Yeah, GFI. GFI, but yeah, it would be nice, wouldn't it? It would be real nice to get that. Yeah, it's only one GFI, but it's, nice I think going. it's worth doing. So he's going here, the kind of like safe play of tagging. Uh, but... Yeah. No, I like this, I think. It's fine, it tags the strength four as well, but it's... Tagging the strength four is really all he needs to do here at this point. Yeah, I mean, I, I sort of agree with Jim, you didn't even need to. I, mean, I think the Kemri score here now. Yeah, it looks good, doesn't it? Huge stun. It was the yeah huge stun allied to the other bull disappearing it means there's just nothing left on the Chaos Dwarf team that can respond. I did say if you take yeah. one bull out, the team is is pretty wrecked. We do listen to you, PC, <laughs> except, except when you're giving your Welsh accent. <laughs> I don't, you asked for that. <laughs> also, uh, coming in here making me watch this fucking kids game. <laughs> also, fuck off, help! And yes, wizard up the sleeve was pretty good. <laughs> yeah, now he hits overtime. I mean, low on rerolls, but high on morale, and with a wizard in hand. <laughs> Is that a wizard in your hand? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's it's a wizard sleeve. I love the wizard sleeve elbow drop in the JFW the Ori Lens sisters. <laughs> Honestly, Al, I feel like taking back all the nice things I've said about you lately. 
Is is Fault Force secretly there with you or something? <laughs> Supreme Orchid. <laughs> oh dear. So I think the camera coach Zin has been rewarded for being patient, staying and fighting when when I was I'm I'm a bad camera coach, so I was I was thinking Come on, let's get let's get up there and maybe take a little bit more of an, a sort of like a movement approach. But he stood, went toe to toe with the chores. Got a nice yeah, me hand. too. Uh, didn't need to use his wizard. Looks like he's reasonably safe, is he? This was a nice turn from Cruz, but I really hated like just leaving that guy, like you know, not hitting this hobby. You had yeah. to hit him, didn't you? Yeah. You had to hit him. It was a two D. You had to hit him. Mm. It was such a good hit, and he's really paying for it now with Chris getting him out there. I think he's still fine, though, isn't he? Yeah. You just run away, don't you, so the bull can't get you, I think. I think that's the biggest fear, is the bull getting you, so you've just got to run down. Yeah. And yeah. Blitz, he's got to make maybe a GFI or two. Run him back I think he's, yeah, he's got to do both GFIs, just get stalled up on the touchdown line where nothing can even base him, and then he's fine. But he just needs to make sure there's no chain pushes to get things that can base him. Yeah. It's a simple mission. You do it first because you don't want to waste your rerolls anywhere else, even on a one in thirty-six double skulls. Even if that far short can get to him somehow with the chain push, then he's still strength four. So, yeah. But like I said, the next thing you prioritise is probably just some nice hitting up in the LOS area. But then you make sure that there isn't a chain push available. Yeah, wow. if Cruz manages to get uh, even base that guy. With one piece, it's strength four, so he can easily yeah, he can, he can push, push it off. off. Yeah, one GFI, one GFI is the players, and one GFI, and then all you can do is be based by strength three. Yeah. So yeah, one, one GFI here. Is the player? Is that what the uh, French in-game commentators are also saying? <laughs> I believe they just said. You should only do one GFI. <laughs> <laughs> In the fucking turn, man. <laughs> See, I might do the second because I prefer the one in 36, having made the first without a reroll, really? to definitely score than the possible one in nines to it's, then have to use the reroll or something. It? It's one of it's better than that the wrong PC. <laughs> ah, you see, this way it's sorted. It doesn't matter what he does with everything else this turn. The score is done. That's a chalk Definitely wrong. A good chalk. <laughs> well, who's to say if I'm right or wrong? But I was right about if you get the bull and one chalk out. He was definitely wrong about that. 100 difficulties. <laughs> oh, he's pumping him. <laughs> Practice them. Oh, wow! This is this is a great turn for you. Yeah, this, this is this is the Camry are suddenly now in the bull seat. It's <laughs> hard to see how they lose this from here. Yeah, he's. This is pretty he's, much he's, how it happened last game, as I recall. The Camry just sort of existed until the Wood Elves killed themselves. Think back to the the first half where the Camry just got completely <laughs> marmalised. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Fuck, I really wish I'd won now. <laughs> I mean, I might have lost to the Camry, obviously, but uh, this is looking real nice for for Sindane, isn't it? These these missing yeah. for Cruz, you know. I, I I don't think the Isles would have lost to these Camry. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, uh, knowing Cruz and his his love for not just getting into the chalice and having some fun, but he, he wants to win them. Yeah, um, and I, be I wonder if he even now really cares about this game. If he just considers this the chalice gone because the team's gone. Is he even going to really bother? Yeah, he will. <laughs> he'll never he will, give up. He, he, will, he will bother, but he'll be, he'll be pretty angry. Yeah. Frank Svang, French is not my... Is not my specialist subject, let's say, no. <laughs> I do my best. I enjoy watching French football streams and um, and giving it giving it a try. Um, and it's really fun. I listened to Bigger Din. I was watching Shoe Blanc earlier this morning. 
I was playing some excellent music while um while streaming. So uh, yeah, I quite like watching the French streams, but <laughs> but yeah, comedy bad French accent. Sorry about that. Um. 180 degree equity shift, yeah, has been, it has been, and uh, <laughs> yeah, that was that was a shame, wasn't it? The wasted money. Unfortunately, the uh, the the lady doesn't doesn't read out a lot of things. Um, very disappointing, but uh, you know, I'll read it out for you in, instead. There you go, sir. Read it out for you there, Kaki. Perfect French accent. Unlike, that was, unlike not, that, was not, that was not a lady reading <laughs> Oh, sorry. There you go. That's why they pay Jim the big bucks. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Um, what was that was much better. Much better. <laughs> yeah, you can palm. You can 3D palm. Get the fuck on. He can't 3D bomb, can he? Well, I can. Six assists. Three plus six. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. I don't think I've ever 3D bombed anything that's strength four. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, my, my brain is not used to those maths. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't get to surround people like this, do you, as pros? Very much. <laughs> With a bomber. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he casts oh, it! Oh, fucking oh, hell! Oh, Only a badly hurt, but oh my god, this is looking real bad for Cruz now, isn't it? I, he's got the whiz yeah. as well, holy shit. Well, this has gone from looking good for Sindane in terms of Cruz's miss next games to looking actually just now bad for Cruz winning at all. Five cars. I think it was already bad for Chris Green when he'd lost the bull and won Chumoff, but yeah. Yeah. now now it's looking real. Now it's looking desperate, isn't it? Yeah, it was he's got a lot of he's got a lot of hobgoblins. <laughs> <laughs> he's got that that quad bench, four hobgoblins from the bench. Yeah, yeah. Cruz is gutted, but he's been there and done this, hasn't he? So he's, he's been here before. He's had teams destroyed before in playoffs. It's not. It's not his fault. He's not made any horrible mistakes, has he? But mm. well, yeah, actually, I mean, I wonder if Cruz would analyse what he's done this half, and uh, has he done anything? You know, anything that he would regret? Or I don't think so. Has he? It's just been one of them things. Like you can't stop. You know, strength five, mighty blow guys punching you, can you? <laughs> you just fucking can't. Like, and maybe there's things he could have done differently, and you know, whatever. But like, ultimately, you you can't stop him smacking you with strength five, mighty blow. And if he, you know, if he casts people, he casts people. Like that's it. He's been clawing people. He's been clawing mummies all this half and not got anything mm -hmm. at all. Um. He's he hasn't fouled, has he? But no, he was he was playing pretty solid. He did leave a bit of a gap in the centre, but the Kenry didn't take the gap in the centre when he committed to the sidelines. He had the two stand firm guys on the left, and then he bunched a load of people on the right just to get better claw hits, mm. which I we thought was a bit weak in the centre, but the Kenry didn't take that, and then. And maybe he should have done what PC said about just moving the strength four back, you know, but he, he moved him into a system with a hit, didn't he? But maybe he could have just moved him back. That what was a bit, of a, a bit of a sweeper. Yeah, yeah, that was like PC's first instinct was just move him back, but he moved him across. Um, and maybe it's if he moved him back, I don't know, but it's hard, in it? I just think it's one of them things. It just happens as, as, as bash teams that you just get these games where they don't go your way and... It's not a lot you can do, is there? Yeah, the claw has has totally done nothing, and the the Kemri have in in you know conversely just uh, <laughs> scored five casualties or something in in one half. Yeah, yeah, they just they just unloaded and <laughs> it's fucking ridiculous, isn't it? Apple kind of failed, and it's just... yeah, you don't see that very often. 
it's looking, it's looking bad. And yeah, obviously it was looking bad for Chris winning the game, just going down the bull, but now it's looking like really, really bad, isn't it? <laughs> like obviously it was a loss, the, the, the bull, but it, I don't think it was that serious. I, I still had him as favourite after losing the bull. Um, Elpin's questioning whether you dacker and go for kicks. He's got three rerolls versus Kemri's one. Yeah. But he's, he's up against the wizard, though, and he's going to be down a lot of players, so... Yes. Maybe. I don't know. I don't really see... I'd be really interested to see what Cruz tries here, because... Yeah. Well, he might have ten players. He might have ten players, so he's, he's just down quality of players rather than numbers, isn't he? Yeah. But boys, he ten players. players. And five of them are hobgoblins. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Half your team are hobgoblins. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's rough, isn't it? going to win the toss. Yeah, and one of the chorts is a loner. Okay, so the chort does come back. Yep. And it looks like Chris has won the toss, I think. Yep, he has. Boy, howdy. Chris actually has a decent hobgoblin that we haven't seen much of because he kept it off in that second half, didn't he? Yeah, he did, yeah, yeah. So I guess that's something he could have done differently, Ooh. right? He could have yeah. Yeah. He did show a bit of disdain for the uh, <laughs> for the Camry team by not fielding him. But it's fair enough. It's good to have him for your offensive drive, isn't it? If you need him, like in overtime, whatever. Yeah, I'd, I'd actually forgotten about that. I'd, the, yeah, that was a bit cheeky, wasn't it? Keeping your best hobgoblin, <laughs> yeah, not even on the drive. But, like, I would do that on defense a fair amount of the time. Like, you know, if it was first half, so that you've just definitely got him for your offensive drive. I think after scoring on your offensive drive, <laughs> probably should have played him on defense, to be fair. But. Have the Cambridge team even got any tackle? <laughs> um, no, no tackle at all, because he got. He got, uh, he got removed the first half, didn't he? So, yeah. like, having an edge for. <laughs> movement seven blodger on the team when the opponent's got no tackle yeah <laughs> the famous hobgoblin cavalry reserve <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what is this setup here mm -hmm. taking a long time he's got the wizard so this is not going to be simple for Chris at all is it down ten down to ten men versus a wizard um I feel like if the Kemri had received, they would have just definitely won. But at least it's a game still. It's actually probably not a bad thing that half his team are Hobgoblins. <laughs> um, yeah, they're because fast. they're faster and they can all potentially score. So, you know, you can do some stuff here. Yeah, yeah very interesting game. Very he, could knock, he could just knock over the front line. Hit one of the central tomb guardians and then flood some receivers up the field and have it on have it on his edge four maybe. I don't know if he needs to, to be that drastic, but he could knock over the front line and see what happens. But he could knock on quite, the front door. Before. Quite like setting up so so deep with the Kimry day. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know to be honest. I. Uh... That, that's my analysis. I just, I just don't fucking know. <laughs> I think the one thing you are worried about as Kemri is, it's got to worry him a little bit that he doesn't have any tackle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not a Kemri coach. I've got to be honest with you. Yeah. So that's why, I, that's why I'm not qualified to give Ogre advice. <laughs> you see. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's looking to blitz one of the tomb guardians in the middle and get the ball in a cage on the blodger about halfway into the Kemri line in the centre. Yeah. yeah, threaten the two turn and then at least the wizard's gone and you know what's going on. Yeah, and you hope that your edge piece... Well, no, he's got an edge piece as well, but it's edge three. So you hope that your edge piece can can recover somehow out of the scrum. Yeah. Yeah. Do you take it? Do you put it on the bludger right away when he's got the wizard though? That's <laughs> the question. 
think you want to know. Oh, well, he is. Yeah, change his mind. Change his mind. Hello, Barasco. A little bit. He's uh, he's taken five cars, <laughs> which is pretty much, isn't it, for like mostly armor nine. Um, three of them were armor nine. I mean, two were armor seven, something like that. And all he, of those were in the second half. Yeah. No, no damage to him in the first half. Yeah. <coughs> and none of them were from fouling either, were they? They were all from just rando hits. I mean, mostly, mostly mighty draw hits, I think. But yeah. yeah. Like you're gonna take. Like to be fair, you're gonna take those hits. Like there's not a lot you can do about it. So. Why not pick on the on the ball? The ball is his only mobile strength four blitz piece, so he might need the ball to blitz a tomb guardian out of the way to make some space. Yeah, yeah this is looking very, very rough for the Chaos Dwarves. Isn't it? Um, but at least they've got the ball, which gives them, you know, some shot here, and it gives us a game. Yeah, I think I think he's going to flood two hobs forward along with the ball. Mm -hmm. Keep one hob back, so if the ball carrier gets bolted in the backfield, you can pick up another hob, I guess. Yeah. I think Do you he's just got two. I mean, I... Do you just turtle? Yeah, he's got well, four re-rolls. I mean, it's not a bad option to wait for the kicks and just win it. But you've got to figure that, the, that you know a slow advance with the whiz to then destroy the position and steal the ball is what the Camry would respond with. Yeah, turtle. Turtling isn't certainly a bad shout. No, he's definitely going, isn't he? It looks like he's... Blocking pattern up, shows. Yeah. It's 100% he is going. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck off, help. <laughs> is he going up? Is he going up the middle? <laughs> surely he's going to hit the. Surely he should have gone up this way to hit the uh, hit the blockless. The non block one. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe that suggests he wants to go up the side. Oh, interesting, isn't it? Yeah, because surely if you're gonna if you're gonna go up the middle, you want to be attacking, attacking well, the you... blockless. He's chosen this side because it's away from the edge piece, so if a wizard yes. does happen... And away from the block stand firm, which is a tough Tomb Guardian to get control of it anyway. Yeah, yeah. All the others so, are either either pushable or powerable on uh, both downs as well, so... If he was thinking about going up the middle, he would probably would have set up in mirror. Yeah, no, he's, 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 he's definitely coming up the, uh, the edge. Yeah. The bull going through the, uh, the skeleton behind that Tomb Guardian he's just controlled. Does he? Where does he keep the ball though? Is he taking the ball upfield? Yeah, he's he just handing thing, it straight yeah. off, so that that piece can't be bolted and can recover if needs be. I think he's going to hold it. I think he's holding there. Okay. I think he hasn't made up his mind yet. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's like your average, your average Dodge kind enthusiast, and he's just going to keep holding. <laughs> Ooh, he does the GFI. Yeah, he's definitely coming up the side. Oh, what a fascinating situation. I think he's not attacking that, but wait, why? What's going no, on? No, he's just screening the whole center of the pitch. Okay. So he's going for this this hobble next turn, I guess. Is his, is his scoring threat? He's, yeah. basing, he's basing a lot of the people that can respond to a wizard this turn, right? So it's making yeah, a wizard this turn not very oof, attractive. The ball looks massively safe. Yeah, but he's got no tackle though. So unless he uses the wizard, then it's always going to be fishing for a power if he tries to blitz the ball. So I wouldn't be blitzing the ball wouldn't be my main concern. I wouldn't be too worried about the Camry blitzing the ball. But he's made the wizard less attractive by just basing everybody that's around yeah. Yeah. that area. Yeah, it's pretty good, isn't it? Pretty good from Cruz. Yeah, I really Yeah, like it. it's very, very solid. He's got three threats, three scoring threats. Yeah. He's got it on an edge four piece that can pass. Yeah. I wonder if it was worth blit uh, bolting, bolting one of these two. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Um, principally the bull. I the one the... anyway. <laughs> okay. Wow. This gets interesting. 
I think you can duel yeah. here, Vogue, because you're losing the next turn. Yeah. So, I, mean, I, I definitely felt you either had to bolt one of the scoring options or the ball carrier here, and I didn't hate the ball carrier bolt. There were ways that you could have got through this. I mean, you needed to knock over the... Uh, it's the Hobgoblin, knock over the Chaos Dwarf, and then you could have got things in around the ball, notably recovered it with your um, super throw. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Now yeah, you're in huge trouble. Yeah. yeah, I didn't hate the bolt on him at all. So do you think he's paid? Uh, do you think he's paid a bit for um, putting, making the the defense was a bit weird, wasn't it? Because the the line was way off the line of scrimmage. It was really deep, and it was yes. quite easy to. It was trying to stop the dwarves being right able now. to get through, but around the back, and not realizing that Cruz would do it with the bull and the hobs. Yeah, and also he should just have the fucking. Two guardians yeah. out wide. Hold, hold, Have hold two stand firm, and... two guardians out wide. Yeah, then, then he can't break through. The obvious thing to do, and that way he has to come in through the centre, which is where you want him to try and come. Yeah, and then you go short, so you don't give him this free this free run through the centre. Yeah, I hated his defensive formation. Hated it to be honest. And literally, it was about swapping the outside pieces. Put those skeletons where the outside tomb guardians were, and the tomb guardians where the skeletons were. And put the two stand firm out on the edge. It was always the vulnerable place for the short drive. Yeah. Where is he going to go after the blitz? Here and, and one day? Yeah. I think you have to get right the way back in front of this bull and hobgob. Yeah, that hasn't changed anything. That's the problem. Double gear five and one. Gives him a one D on the bull. That has to work, doesn't it? Can you get can you get the assist in with the super throw? Yeah, yeah, yeah you can. can. You can make it a two die with the super throw. Yeah, I think you have to. Yeah, I think you probably have to as well. Even then, the bull just blitzes you off, and you still hand off to that hob got. But it's your best shot. Yeah, it's not that easy. Oh, yeah, he's got break tackle. Okay, it's pretty easy. <laughs> Yeah, maybe he had a double GFI with that, with that uh, mummy here. Maybe this, this mummy had a double GFI to get there. Yeah, to get around the front, yeah. yeah. I think so. so that you had two pieces controlling the two that are going to be hopefully on the side. Unless this is an armor break, this is too easy. Yeah. yeah. You didn't even stick yeah. him on there, at least he should have made no. him do the dodge. Yeah, at least he should have made him do the two plus. I don't see a solution to this. Mm. That last skeleton needs to dodge, and well, he's just trying to put a tackle zone on the ball. But that's a one in thirty-six that you're adding there, which is not good enough. I think that tomb guardian had to get around the front of these two. Yeah, he had to. Yeah. I'm not sure why he pushed him there either. Volker who could have pushed him onto the yeah, tomb and to not add that two plus for the bull is a little ridiculous. Yeah, but it's a long, hard game. Yeah, yeah. One, two, three, it could have just four, been a misclick anyway. Six. So this is two die needing only a push, followed by a two plus three plus. Is it even a two plus one, two, three, four. And five, then a two six, plus seven. to score. Yeah. So just a three. Just a three. He can, he oh no, can he's moved seven. Anything. Yeah, no, you're right. It's a three plus and then a two plus to to score. Mm. So it is still a three two. Uh, yeah, three yeah, two. Three two. Three two. Wow. Well, I don't think we would have predicted this going into overtime, but Crucifer has done a fantastic job showing oh, why I he's love such an awesome classic player. Tutor. Yeah, controlled all the right pieces. You know, put the right chorfs under the gun, <gasps> under the right Kemri pieces. <gasps> oh, no, two plus. <laughs> two plus, no cover. No! Oh, oh, hard two. Oh my god! And fails the hard two. <laughs> And removes himself to boot. My God, there's another swing and indeed a roundabout in this, oh, this classic still, game of Blood Bowl. This is still not over though, is it? I, I mean, this was, this was over. This was all over and the, the Chorfs had won. They, the drive was so dominant in that first half. <laughs> and then it was over because the Kemri came roaring back and removed, as I said, just a bull and a Chorf is enough to really make the Chorf struggle. And they did. And the Kemri drove home. And then in overtime... Crucifer just completely outmaneuvered the woeful defence from the Kemri. And now it twists again. Well, so much still to do. Well, I now think... he looks genius for keeping that reroll dry. 
yeah, I think this is pretty simple. I think you can uh, you can screen off, screen off the bull, right? And then surf this, surf this fucking asshole, <laughs> and then and then pick up the bull. Don't you, you surf him? Don't you, you just blitz the bull? On a how do you surf him? Friend? How do you surf him though? Yeah, uh, you punch him with this guy, and then you blitz him with the uh, tomb guardian. Oh, with the with the tomb? Yeah, yeah okay, after, after you pick up the bull. The bull yeah, must yeah, die. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's the bull dead. Good. Well, okay. I was if, thinking, if I knew you were going to break armor on the bull, then, then blitzing the bull I, looks. I was bit. thinking you had to pick up. Yeah, he he he, he, pick, he goes and picks Super up. Super throw goes and picks up in a second as soon as this Kemri's uh, blocked. Horrible hobgoblin of doom. Yeah. So you wouldn't have blitzed the bull then? No, no. I, I would think I would have rather. I would think I would have rather surfed the uh, move seven. Edge four, I don't know, the ball's, the ball's the only tackle piece, so assuming he picks up with the edge 4, sorry, the strength 4... It's blocked as uh, ish no. I just don't trust bulls that near where I want to try and pick the ball up. Yeah, so yeah that I, seems I, a I, terrible square to go to. Um, what is that all about? He's just going to leave it in the corner. No, it's alright, I guess, right, he's got the corner cage. Yeah. 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 I, don't, I don't mind blitzing the ball rather than the hob. Well, you know, surfing the hobby is nice, but if he's if he's got it on um, the edge piece... If he was one step in front of there, couldn't we have picked up and still come back a square? Yeah. No, we couldn't. No, it's still just a pick up. It would be a go for it to leave there. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, it would. Okay, so this is... This is the two, two plus three plus with re-roll. <laughs> well, oh, he's what, not what? even going for the pick up. Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> Okay. I'm surprised by that. What's the piling on? <laughs> didn't want to follow, just didn't want to free up the <laughs> Well, I mean, he's got time, hasn't he? This That was only his second turn of eight, so he's got plenty of time to get back and pick it up, but it... It does mean he's... It feels is, that is this he job, picking it up on, is he planning on picking it up on the, the sheer throw? Right? It means it means Doesn't that the hobgoblin just back in the three, two, three, 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 three if he wasn't going to serve him, he should have tried to pick up the ball. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, Yeah, one or other. There he goes. Oh, my God. He's going to do it. Oh, he gets wrestled. He gets schooled. Oh, even worse. Oh, gets that's... that's... <laughs> well, and because it was twos and ones, that dice don't work like this. But for people that think it does, he would have failed the dodges to get through and pick up the ball. Um <laughs> One re but yeah, Jim's point obviously valid. Surfing that would have been good. I still would have hit the ball, the bull, but then I would have gone to pick the ball up. Yes, I mean, I would have gone to pick the ball up in, in any situation, I think. <laughs> I just feel that having the ball on your super throw is a good place for it to be. Yeah, yeah no shit. <laughs> I'm old-fashioned that way, Jimmy, and I, yeah, I feel you are too. It is getting a little bit short on time now, though, right? Yeah, I Maybe. think we had to go for the, like. Plus, it's only. So, I guess the the thing is, if you oh, go for the no. pickup and you fail, <laughs> it's horrible, isn't it? Yeah. And, and what you mean? Go for the pickup with the with the super one. No, Dr. yeah, Phil's last turn, right? Very last important turn, point in chat, guys. GFI. I, I, wait, one second. Last turn, he had to GFI to pick it up, and if he if he rolls a one yeah. there, you, you lose your last re-roll because you have to re-roll it. And if you just fail the pickup, then the ball could go anywhere, and he can just. Dodge away and score, can't you? So. Yeah, yeah. Right. What was the good point in chat? All of that equity for Crucifer has gone. Yes. Re yeah, three rerolls gone in three turns. Three yeah, re it's now one one for the reroll count, but the whiz is gone. Um, I I just hate so much that Super Throw hasn't gone back and got the ball. That it makes me think there's still somehow some chance. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Sorry PC, but that is that is fucking hilarious. <laughs> fucking hell. Oh dear. 
Fucking help with a bingo. <laughs> So, while we were watching the bingo, he did pick up on a 4 plus with his secondary throw rock. He did, yeah, I quite like that. I, li I like that. I like, I like, actually, now that I like, at the time I was like, what the fuck? But now it means that, okay, I don't like him not moving up with it. Well, I'll, I mean, you have reminded me we are actually planning to uh, record another podcast tomorrow evening. <laughs> uh, so I hope that's going to mean to a new episode within the next few days. Let's bingo! <laughs> <laughs> That's number one. <laughs> What's he doing? What? Oh, there's nothing he can do. He's fucking. He's fucking Camry, isn't he? I oh, just power this guy. Kazim. What can you do? Kazim. Kazim. Fucked. <laughs> just fucked. Just Permed, him. <laughs> Permed him. Yeah, I think Chris is probably going to give up mentally now. Chris's team. Yeah, I think prior to that he would have probably. Uh, <laughs> right, he's got to go the whole length of the field. That's what. That's still only four turns, though. This is quite easy. Yeah, he's got five turns. This is fine. This is fine. Where is Chris's team? Here it is. Six cars. <laughs> yeah, it's and it's not looking healthy for the next game either. No. no, it's really not looking like next game. I think at this point, isn't it? I think it's safe to say. It's uh, it's not looking like an experiment now. I'm sure Cruz is probably thinking about switching to Prowls for the challenge. If, if his shorts are gonna, <laughs> well, has he? Yeah. I mean, it's coming from the man that does coach a lot of dwarves, and I am aware of that. But um, <laughs> do you think he really needs another chalice win with chorfs? Wouldn't he like one with something else? <laughs> <laughs> I think he is top pro at the moment in this season, current season. Oh, there you go. <laughs> yes, he is. <clears throat> yeah, thirteen one. Three. Yeah, he is. See, I wouldn't be amazed to see him bring uh, pro elves to the chalice. No, no, it's four turns from the score, Volk. It was four. It was four turns from the score from where he is. So and he's got five turns. So he's uh, my my point was he is uh, he is in range and time. He uh, is, um, but uh, there is a possible strategy here. I mean, the chorfs are slightly faster if they can get the bull and a couple of hobgoblins back. Then by the time he's getting towards the business end of this drive, a couple of the tomb guardians at least are going to be left behind. Yeah, yeah. I think I think my odds are on. Um, kicks. Yeah, I, I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised at all. I mean, however, remove this ball. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, another yeah that, really good that does break. change things. Huge AV breaks, but he didn't follow. Um, no. Oh, it didn't matter anyway, he had two squares left. I wouldn't have gone in here, I would like to have gone in here personally. Yeah. This gives you And ev point. every square forwards is vital because mm. it feels like you're in total control, but there's actually a hell of a long way to go. Mm. I might, to the point where I might even foul that mm. bull. Mm. To Next the point where time. I might have surfed this guy. <laughs> two turns gone. Yeah. No, no, <laughs> <laughs> It wasn't a bad play, Jim. It, it really wasn't. <laughs> it left the rowdy bull able to possibly get free, which was a worry. You'd have needed three pieces to control that break tackle yeah, ball. Yeah, that was the problem, obviously. So it was swings and roundabouts. Of course, you might have blitzed the you might have blitzed the uh, bull and not and not knocked him over as well. Right? That was a that was a very real possibility. Yeah, yeah. Practically uh, every time a bull has been hit since half time, it has. Broken his armor, hasn't it? Yes. Like she yeah. cast one and stunned this guy a huge number of times. <laughs> yeah, yeah. To be fair, to be fair, that the pushing him was never really a concern. <laughs> he was he was bound to knock him over and break his armor. <laughs> I don't like this because now he is pushed for time. Yeah. Yeah. Well, eat this. Oh, oh, oh. He's got to eat it. He's just literally got to. Oh, oh. my god. He had to eat that one, man. If he can take total control of everything this turn, 
he can just potato. But there's still two hobgoblins that look like they can just dodge away. How many do you have? He's got to eat that, didn't he? He's got to... Now he's got to power this guy. Felt now. so. Yeah. You punch him. And then you can punch him, maybe. Wow. This is all fairly seat of the pants, considering how in control he should be right now. Yeah. But yeah, either block first and then move up, or uh, or just don't re-roll. Like, they, they were your two options, weren't they? Yeah. But I also think not moving the ball forward is... is not sensible, no. particularly after stunning the bull. Yeah, yeah, particularly your Camry as well. <laughs> like you know, and I know you know while playing dwarves, PC likes to uh, get as far forward as possible, and like obviously you don't have that same urgency if you're high elves or you know wood elves or whatever. You don't really care, do you? But. It's fucking Kemri, you really have to get forward, don't you? <laughs> like, the same basic maths. The, the yeah. ball carrier moves six, and the key support pieces move four. Yeah, Tony plays probably he's 21, he's 21 squares from the end zone, and he's got 24 movement with four turns, so he should have enough movement, but the issue is covering, like, he's not, the rest of his team doesn't have enough movement, so... Um, yeah. And the pieces that do towards the front are busy tied up on chores. If only it was on his strength for super. Why super is the hobgoblin not just running backwards? <laughs> okay, is this a blitz off? No, this is just freeing a chorf. No. I don't think that's sensible. I think he's going to go for the air 4 plus 2, do you? Yeah. This is his That's last reroll. He can uphill this. He can uphill this uh, mummy, can't he? I'm just going to dodge off. Was the uphill not better? I don't know. There you go. Look. Here he goes. Both down it. Both down on all balls. <laughs> it's probably enough. Yeah. To at least secure the uh, the kicks. Yeah. Both both rollers are down. Well, that's, that's absurd. I, I mean, not moving forwards, Jimmy. Yep. I, I, I can make no sense of it. I, mean, I, I suppose there was enough movement left, but... It's been wow. a great match. <laughs> <laughs> There's no time. Yeah, Elby, good point there. Kequity is now equal. Yep. Really good fun watch. At zero. Yep. It also, and this is a, a key upside, it means less utterly pointless animations that we have to sit through. <laughs> I mean, if he goes to kicks and it's like opinion, four four re rolls still, you know you can just go and make a cup of tea or whatever and come back. And things that there's just no point in you having to witness will still be happening. <laughs> this is uh, this is a three D, but no tackle, is there? Well, we might even game. only have to see one penalty. I mean, God, the luxury of it. <laughs> he can do it with a lot of G GFIs, right? He can still score in his super guy with a lot of GFIs. Yes. There's other problems with that as a concept, but yes. I mean, well, if all of the Chaos them. Dwarves threw themselves simultaneously to the ground... <laughs> yeah, but I mean, having then, it on... Yes, the numbers on work for him to get there. A strength four bludger is pretty amazing, so... Yeah. Yeah, I, there's a problem with the ball not being in its hands. <laughs> not yet, not yet. Not yet. I think what he has to do is, right, get all the players around the ball, yeah, then do the GFI to pick it up, and then dodge this guy out to be the canoring threat. That's going to be the one. This Skellington's going to score. Osley. It's all pretty bleak. What a crack is, game of bubble. If he tries any GFIs to score, that flipping... Edge for a little hobgoblin is ready to scoop it up. He is, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he is. Personally, I would have surfed him. <laughs> yeah, I knew you were gonna would you, that. Jim? <laughs> I think that would have been a good idea. Yeah. Oh. Um, I have to say, right now, if there's a favourite to be a winner, it's Crucifer by a, a distance. Yeah. I think yeah. the Camry yeah. have very few chances. Yeah, I mean, the, bo the ball's um, certainly still think closer the draw. to their end zone, isn't it? That's the problem. Yeah. Right? And there's and there's a AG4 piece there. 
Le ballon est sous contrôle. But Mais encore faut-il le ramasser. He's not again. Why yeah. pick the ball up? What of what possible purpose is picking up the ball? <laughs> well, you can be in like a little eye cage here, can't you? That's okay. Yes. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, Rubs, six, nice. one Rubs. GFI, one GFI, or he goes here and then he needs no GFIs. Doesn't, he doesn't go there, he could have, I wouldn't have minded him No, I think, it, I think it's safer to stay and do a single GFI. I think it's safer And be in, well. in that eye cage. I think it's safer there as well, but... I think that AG4 would have got in and got at least one die on him. Yeah. At which point you are screwed. Okay, well, I'd have to say it's now in Kemri's hands. But, but break the thing is, if he goes... Break right tackle ball just retreats. Yeah. Break tackle ball just runs away backwards. Surely. He, yeah, the thing is, though, if he goes for it right, if he goes for that, then uh, then he might fail. And, yeah, now this is just a, this is an easy 1D, isn't it? This is, like, the easiest 1D of your life. Yeah. I mean, not really, but still. Two, two GFIs <laughs> for a 1D is pretty good, isn't it? Yeah, I'd, I'd still run the ball back first yes, because oh, that's yeah. my. If that's a two plus that gives me good options, I'd, I'd push the go for it until I pop short feet. Yeah, yeah I would have done as well. Yeah, two GFI scroll, not one. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's one, two. And here we go. One, one being the ball. Woo. Pushes him back a square, which is not not relevant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now it's two GFIs. Good hand off to Edge Three Man here. What? What? Couldn't? Why? Yeah. Hand off to Edge Three Man. Run! Glorious. <laughs> <laughs> no, I won't give in until I'm not I'm sure victorious. I like that play, <laughs> and I will defend. I will defend. <laughs> And off to the edge three. <laughs> yeah, with the edge four, Hobgoblin lurking right by him. <laughs> no, he's got a 3D here, hasn't he? He's got the 3D here. And then just move up yeah. the fucking field. <laughs> yeah. Now, now it definitely... You know how I've been saying for a while it's time to get up the field with the ball? Now it really definitely 100% is. Yes. yes. No matter what else happens. Oh my god, he can't. Oh. Wow. <laughs> well, um, There's a ain't going to be here. no Kemri win. There's a bull here. There's no gnawing threats at all. Well, it's not going to be a Kemri win before kicks. Yes. No, yeah. true. There's a bull here. Can only give yeah, there is, time. isn't there? Does he? Is, no, he's it can at the moment. I mean, the Agility 4 is a simple 2 plus away from cancelling it. Can yeah, there we go. The but then there's no pickup threat. That was technically the last scoring threat just gone down, wasn't it? <laughs> That's good. <laughs> yeah. Catch the wrestle game. <laughs> Brilliant. The wrestler's really fucked him, by the way. This is why I don't like wrestle. You know, like Artemis likes yep. his wrestle on his on his backup runner, but sometimes yep. his backup runner has to carry the ball, and I yep. really don't fucking want him having wrestle. <laughs> no. Plus, also, I'm not a huge fan of wrestle as a sacking option, as a um, as a safety. Yeah. I don't mind it for aggressive sacking, but as a safety, I mean, yeah, they're they're breaking through. You run up to them and wrestle them down. Brilliant. They just stand back up, pick the ball back up, and run away <laughs> laughing at you. Yeah. What have you actually achieved? You've slowed them slightly. Uh, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, he needs to chain he needs to chain this Skellington into scoring <laughs> ring. <laughs> <laughs> oh. The glorious Kemri pass on turn sixteen. The funniest there thing is he this, can do it as well, right? Yeah, he proper can analysis do it. for you. Look at this, he can do it, because he can push that guy and then fill in that square and he can push him one forward, he can fucking do it. Oh, he, look, it's okay that he didn't fill it so for me. <laughs> well, what a, what a play this is. It's a casual KO of the uh, best CD threat there. This is going to kicks, isn't it? Oh, please chain the Skellington, this would be This so is not good. going to kicks, this is going for a glorious... A Kemri pass win. <laughs> oh, come on, please. Please do the right play. Please, it'd be so good. 
Oh, he's fucked it. Or well, maybe not. He hasn't blitzed yet, has he? He hasn't blitzed yet, so he hasn't fucked it yet. He hasn't blitzed. So this guy can come round and blitz him and chain him that way. Alright, he hasn't yeah. fucked it yet. Come on. There's, there's no world in which this works. But it's, <laughs> it's fun to try. Do you do something like foul the foul the bull first before you try this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe. Or the hobgoblin. Yeah. Oh, he's just... I, you've you've not got the pieces left. Didn't even pick up there. Didn't even try. Picking up has not been a, a key thing for this Kemri team. <laughs> I am gobsmacked. They didn't even try to pick up. Oh, no. <laughs> he didn't try to score anything, did he? <laughs> oh god. Thinking about it, the standing next to it was pretty good, I thought. Like, in retrospect, I quite liked it just standing next to it. And then not going for the pick-up, even though it, it left that edge four play on. Um, but, like, because if you roll the one, it takes your last reroll, and it's horrible, isn't it? And, and if, you know, so I... And then yeah, also... not having the ball was quite horrible. Yeah, I don't know. I, and it's got to be picked up at some point. I thought the I, moment he just stood next to it and didn't go for his super throw to that GFI into the corner to pick him up, I, I thought... He's going to really struggle to, for time here. Like, yeah. Bruce is good enough to pressure him. Yep. The Camry are slow enough that you can't really get away from anybody. Oh, I don't know. I, I really didn't. I Yeah. I would have had it on his strength for Bludger in the corner on that turn. In the then turn for you got fuck's six sake. Turns to march up the, in the fucking turn, time. man! But even then, he still he still went fucking slow. Didn't he? he could have gone a lot faster yeah, than I what he did. <laughs> Truly Notorious has come up with a great way of summating this. Lesson learned. Kemri needs to run forwards, not <laughs> so sideways. sideways. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I think yeah. that's a very, very key takeaway here. Yeah. We've had some crab-like Kemri behaviour. <laughs> <this, laughs> <this whole time. laughs> yeah. Oh, he's been watching Space Cadet. <laughs> Perhaps they need to pick, pick, pick a different spirit animal, not the crab. <laughs> Zin's obviously a big fan of Fant Fox and JFW and he's been going for his own crab taunt. Indeed, turtling when not winning is not a massively successful strategy either. Another animal to avoid there, I would Give suggest. The choice between the turtle strategy and the crab strategy. <laughs> yeah. Crab's like an advanced turtle, isn't it? <laughs> Uh, oh, we'll now he does the chain. Time. It's too late. <laughs> yeah, well, he's not doing the chain. He's not doing the chain. <laughs> <laughs> the French players try to surrender, but the goddamn chores keep dying. <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. <laughs> Yes, I do enjoy there. Trying to, trying to join me in bringing some class to this <laughs> despicable ending to this Blood Bowl. Agreeing that perhaps the spirit animal of a rabbit would have been more suitable for the Kemri assault this evening. <laughs> wow. I can't believe Chris has got a 50-50 shot at this after everything yeah. that's happened. After that. Seven <laughs> cars. And what game would us. it be? Yeah, he's going for the cheeky pass. <laughs> of course he is. Okay. okay. Every point well, zero one percent rinsed. No that was quite some game. <laughs> yeah. I guess we want Kemi to win the kicks here because poor old Cruz has just got no, no team. Yeah, isn't? Cruz is fucked in the next round against against the Orcs. And and the Kemri aren't. Uh, at least they've got a team. <laughs> yeah. the coach <laughs> yes a huge number of perms for Cruz for us yeah yeah all of these are vital kicks every one of these animations we're forced to watch means something yes that's true oh, oh Chris they should lost just... no no it went through I thought he'd missed I thought he'd missed it <laughs> Jim's just trying to build up some tension there yeah <laughs> and yeah. he goes for the kick and he misses it oh no he doesn't miss it <laughs> oh, he doesn't miss it <laughs> Oh, he's missed it. He's he does lost. miss it. 
<laughs> well. Okay, so that that means that we have to look at Chris's team. If he if he didn't have lost that, we wouldn't have bothered looking at Chris's team from then onwards. God. What can you say? God. It's um. Damn it! Well. I wish I'd won my game now. <laughs> <laughs> How the fuck did Chris get through with this shattered team that he has? <laughs> wow. The orcs are going to be quivering tonight. Yes, quivering. How could they possibly predict the inducement strategy? That's got to be their fear. Yeah, they'll be quivering. Their cloakers will be quivering. <laughs> this is a this is a chorf win, which chat are actually okay about because they like seeing chorfs get hammered. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was something, wasn't it? Fifty-six, fifty-four, thirty-eight. That was pretty bad. 43, 41, 56, pretty good. So yeah, he, he got better dice, didn't he? It's like if you if you don't realise that he got seven fucking cars, <laughs> but uh, he got pretty good block dice as well. Right. Everyone says the game's confirmed, so you can have a look at the team. Oh, amazing! Right, well, um, let's end. Let's end. The, uh, should we not? Let's look at the team first because it's it's part. I think of that would be a good, a good ending to the video. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's very very much. long. It's very much part of the YouTubes, isn't it? Um, sure YouTube viewers would want to have a quick look at this. <laughs> yeah. 1550. <laughs> From over 2000 at the game start, wasn't it? Yep. Yep. He's down to how many players? 15. So he's down to 11. <laughs> down a hob, two chaffs. Ball, armor eight, move three. <laughs> this was just missed next, I think. Yeah. And what about the ball? I think that was also that was just missed next. Oh no, it was, it was niggled into miss next, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. But he, he could, he could win. He could win the next game. Yeah, he could. He could. <laughs> he could. It's blood. Strength four claws. Strength four claw guy. He's got an edge four. Hob. He's got one good ball. He's up against orcs. Orcs could get killed by the. He's going to get some inducements. I forget exactly how big they were, but he could always um, he could always rent in Hathar. Yeah, they're about two k the dwarves, at uh, the orcs. I mean, orcs yeah, so Hathar would be an option um, yeah. if he feels another bull is needed, um, or certainly he can you know mercenary a couple of guard chaffs in. Yeah, but it's it's looking rough for him, isn't it? But you know, well, I mean, like he had the best chance to win. Like, okay, he won the toss, but uh, he, had yeah. a, he had a real good chance to win, didn't he? That three plus two plus. Uh, yeah, yeah. So you know, I really liked Christopher's first turn of the. Um, yeah, it was it was overtime. such a classy turn. The first yeah. turn of the uh, overtime. I mean, every move was just in the right order. It controlled the right pieces. Everything that you needed controlled was controlled. His threat was in. It was all fairly easy dice. The ball was moderately safe. <laughs> it, it absolutely begged the wizard to come. Uh, but even then, as, as long as he doesn't recover the ball, it's a foot, agility four picking it up and throwing it to an agility three catching. That's not the yeah. end of the world. It was really good. Like I think you just nipped out just before our time was just beginning, and Jim and I were sitting here thinking, eh, I don't really know what we're doing. <laughs> it was like we were a bit at a loss as to how yeah. to try and what what strategy we'd do, but. I really like what Cruz came up with there, so he, he deserves something out of that match, but um, yeah. you don't always get what you deserve, I guess. But um... I mean, the problem was that wizard kept dry. Um, it, it did mean that anything was a problem. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Failing that, you know, I liked Jim's idea too, the turtle strategy, try and defend your four rerolls and win on kicks. Mm -hmm. But it's a hell of a long time to defend if the dice go even slightly poor. Mm -hmm. And the problem is with only four chaffs and a bull, you, you're... You know, against Kemri, they're just going to grind you down. You haven't got anything to put up as a proper defence. Yeah, yeah. Interesting, wasn't it? Very interesting and, and well played. So congratulations. No, I thought Crucible played it brilliantly, and hence probably deserved on balance the win because the Kemri, when they did take control of that over time, just didn't seem to want to do enough with it, which we've seen a couple of in this challenge. Yep. <laughs> so right. <laughs> Congratulations, Crucifer. Commiserations in. Thank you very much, Purple Chest and Fatlin. It was glorious to have you in the booth. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.